And it's the Audio Box 1955 Bell Air Retro Ride Bluetooth Speaker. I imagine that the target market for this is a car enthusiast, which I am not. I know nothing about cars. I don't even know if there is such a thing as a 1955 Bel Air, but let's assume there is, and let's assume that this is that. Uh, but let's look at the model first. This uh, this looks like a Cadillac uh, logo, is that right? Um, there is a plain hood ornament. This seems like a detailed model to me. The tires do spin. They spin independently. Maybe is this a, some kind of a positronic traction system? I don't know. Um, but you can tell that it is a Bluetooth speaker, or at least a, a speaker of some kind. You can see the grill up top. And then you have other clues like the TF card slot and the USB memory card slot here. And then on the this side, we've got the charging slot. And this is a three and a half millimeter output which actually makes this more interesting to me. I can see this being attached to your stereo. So if you're not interested in the internal speaker, you could still use this to play your TF card or uh, this has an FM radio in it, or you could still attach a Bluetooth source to this and send the output to your uh, to your floor standing speakers, which it could be interesting. Is I think that if any serious mechanic probably has a stereo in the shop, um, but you still might want to have this nifty little detail. So on the back here, we have the buttons. Uh, they, they're, again, they're not really, if you get, if you catch the right like, you can see what the buttons do. Uh, I would like some contrasting ink perhaps like they have in the license plate here. Something that's not quite as obvious until you turn the power on is that the rear window is actually a display. You can see it, the greeting message. It always uh, defaults to Bluetooth mode regardless of what feature it was on when you turned it off. Uh, the next mode would be your phone mode. Uh, I don't... I don't know, do people really use their Bluetooth speakers as speakerphones? Maybe, maybe you do. Maybe, maybe that's the feature that you're buying this for. More power to you. Now, the next feature would be the TF card slot or USB if I had one plugged in. I don't have it plugged in right now. The issue, there is, there's kind of an issue with, I don't know, I don't know how they could get around it, but when you have a card in here, it will index the card. And depending upon how many songs you have on that, it can take a few minutes. So you might hit the button to go to that mode and it will, and you'll think, did I do something wrong? Because nothing's happening. No, you didn't do anything wrong. It is indexing and it might take a minute or three before something happens. But don't worry, it will work. Um, and then the, the final mode would be the FM radio, which works surprisingly well considering there is no external antenna for this. These are not the only lights on the model. The others are the headlights, which I, I think that it, if, if I was going to design this, I would want this to have yellow lights or white lights, or at least lights that match. <laughs> But this, these RGB disco lights, um, not, not my choice, not what I would do. And as far as I can tell, you cannot turn them off or you cannot sync them up or you can't. This is what they do. So I hope you like it. You're probably interested in this as a speaker, but you're really getting this because it's a car. So it would be nice if they really played that feature up. Yes, the wheels turn. Great. Wouldn't it be cool if you could pop the hood and open the doors, uh, open the trunk or the, the hatchback, whatever you want to call that? I think that would be awesome. You can't do any of that. And they have headlights that work, but they don't have taillights that work. Why not? If you're going to do one, I think you would do both. Um, 
so there's really, there's nothing you can do with this as a car other than roll it back and forth. You can't, the wheels don't turn or anything. I think when you have a, a speaker that looks like a toy, it should be a toy. What is that? What is that supposed to be? Uh, and and also, you know, because should it be like the the sound of the, a car turning over or uh, you need a, you know, the, a rumbling bad exhaust or, or even a honking horn, something that's car-like. But that's, that was just weird. And, and same thing when you turn it off. That, that doesn't make any sense at all. Obviously, if you're buying this, you're not expecting high fidelity, but you do expect something that works and sounds decent. And I think that accurately describes what this does. Now, there are no specs as far as what kind of speakers are in here, how many speakers, the frequency ranges, but I just ran some few tests and inspected this visually. And I think, I think this is at least a two-way speaker and maybe a three-way. Um, this, I can't tell if there's a, actually a speaker under here or if this is just some kind of a, a, a place for sound to escape. But I think this is a mid-range speaker here, and I think this is a tweeter. And this, this actually, this does sound fairly decent at, at mid to low volumes. It does have a certain amount of bass. I've, for, I've heard far worse. This goes down to about 70 hertz, and it does go all the way to 20,000 hertz. Um, but like, but it, it does, the quality does suffer at the top end, at least to my ears. Um, but the, the bass, you, you, can, you can tell there's an abrupt drop off when you listen to low bass music, because there is, uh, you'll, you'll hear it go bub, 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 and then, and then as soon as it gets below its abilities, it just it doesn't do anything. It's just not, it's not exert, overexerting itself. It just doesn't even try. Uh, this is not a high fidelity system. Um, this is what you would expect it to be. In fact, I would, uh, I think this sounds, despite what I said about it being a, like what I think is a, a two-way speaker, to me, it sounds like a decent AM radio. And, and and that's fine uh, for for having in your shop, and, and certainly if you are feeding this to uh, a regular stereo uh, with floor standing speakers, this is a a fun novelty Bluetooth speaker that works about as well as any other Bluetooth speakers in this price range. It does support uh, a, a a dual speaker setup. I don't know if it's if it's stereo or if it's uh, just two speakers playing at the same time. And normally, if a speaker is of this class, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a uh, getting two of them f to make use of that effect. However, with this speaker, they have like oh, they have eight different models to choose from including different colors of this same car. And it, it might, you might want to get more than one speaker uh, just to have different colors. And if, as long as you have more than one speaker, why not pair them? In both regards, this is a three out of five experience from a sound perspective, it's average. From a toy perspective, it just doesn't do much. It, it rolls back and forth. So it looks pretty and it rolls back and forth. So again, I would say a three out of five experience. Um, there, this You could really do a lot with this concept and they just didn't take it far enough. But still, even saying that, I think it's good enough that it would make a fun and decent gift for the right audience. So three out of five with a, a tepid recommendation. How's that? Thanks for stopping by.